Thank you. Good evening. I'm Kiriaki Kubapidu. I'm a second year PhD student in chemistry. And today I'm going to talk to you about the storage tanks of the future. Is the world ending? On a planet that's progressively overheating, how much longer do you think we'll be able to survive? The short answer is not much. Scientists predict that if we continue using traditional energy sources in the same rate, by 2050, one quarter of the Earth will experience extreme droughts and desertification that is less than 30 years from now. If we want to sustain life in the long term, we need to look for better, cleaner ways to generate energy. Alternatives like wind and solar energy rely too much on the weather conditions, and there are serious challenges in storing this energy for future use. Thankfully, there's another option, natural gas, or better, a renewable version of it called biogas, which is produced from farm waste. Ireland has a strong agriculture sector and the potential to lead in the use of this green, abundant energy source. But we need the right tools to make that happen. The issue with biogas is its low volumetric density, which means that, like all gases, it tends to spread out, taking up a lot of space. If we were to fill up a tank with biogas, we would need to use extremely high pressures in order to store sufficient amount for transportation. But if we line this tank with a material that can interact with the gas and increase its packing efficiency, then we can store enough gas under ambient conditions. To use this tank in our cars, we need a material that can load and unload the gas on demand, much like a light switch goes from on to off in the push of a button. We call these switching materials, but they are still exceptionally uncommon. That is where I come in. My research focuses on developing new materials that could potentially render previous storage methods obsolete. Nearly two years in my PhD, I've, de I've developed several new synthetic switching materials that enable me to do systematic studies and fine-tune their properties. I'm looking into optimizing industrially important factors, such as how many times we can recycle the material, how much gas we can load, and how much force we need to apply to unload the gas. So far, I've made valuable contributions in a severely underdeveloped but highly impactful field that leads the way to a sustainable, brighter future. Is the world really ending? Probably, unless we prioritize world-changing research. Thank you.